everyone. Today uh, we are going to analyze the question paper that is GDC English Literature, which was conducted yesterday. And uh, so we'll try to find out the right answer to all the questions. And uh, also there are some controversial questions that we'll be discussing together. All those who appeared for the exam, they need to uh, give your answer in the chat box. So be ready for your chat box and uh, give your right answer for every question. So here's the question. First of all, I'm going to solve the paper of uh, English literature. Then uh, I'll also see some of the questions from the general studies. Well, they're not the subject expert of general studies, but definitely I'll go through that also. So that all the uh, uh, students who did not appear for the exam, they'll have a clear cut idea what kind of question is being asked for the exam. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, from question number 31. Question number 1 to 30 were the questions from general studies, and question number 31 to 120 are the questions from English literature. I hope the questions are uh, easily visible to all of you. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm starting with question number 31. Who called Chaucer the father of English poetry? Sorry. Who called Chaucer the father of English poetry? Uh, here, this question itself is not having any right option. All the options are wrong here. So it should come under a controversial question. The right answer is John Dryden. John Dryden, in his preface to Fables, called Chaucer as the father of English poetry. Uh, uh, as some of you are writing, Arnold, Arnold called about Chaucer that he lacked a high seriousness. So how can he say that he's the father of English poetry? So Arnold is absolutely wrong uh, answer. The right answer is John Dryden. Okay, let's move on to the next question, question number 32. With reference to Francis Bacon, which of the following statements are correct? So uh, he was knighted in 1603, that is right. And uh, he was Solicitor General in 1607, it's wrong. Attorney General in 1613 is right. And Viscount Settle in 1625 is wrong. So one and three are the right answers. Okay, uh, next question. Who defines criticism in the following words? The options are Aristotle, Plato, Waterpater, and Water Rally. The right answer is Waterpater. Criticism is the art of interpreting. So Waterpater is the right option for this question. Question number 33. Okay, uh, I'm not getting the answer by all of you. Kindly give the answer to question number 34. Question number 34. There are some quotations given from uh, the plays of Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. The right option here is some are born great, some uh, other achieve greatness, and uh, others are uh, uh, greatness thirst upon them. This is not from Richard II, rather it is from 12th night. So the option is asking not correctly matched. So D is the right answer to this question. Question number 35. Give me the answer. The title Second Coming originates from which book of the Bible? The Second Coming, very famous poem of W. B. Yeats. And uh, it takes its origin from the Bible and the book is Revelation. So C is the right answer to this question. Uh, moving on to question number 36, which of the following novels was declared unfit and illegal for human study by the court? So it was D. H. Lawrence novel, The Rainbow, which was uh, declared unfit and it was banned in uh, England. However, it continued in the United States. So The Rainbow is the right answer to this question. Crack and green novels are marked by so, you know, Graham Greene, uh, The Power and the Glory, talks about Catholicism. So, Catholicism was totally banned in this. So, T is the right to this question number 37. 
Uh, question number 38, some images are influenced by Japanese haiku, which has exactly how many syllables. So there is a very famous uh, image poem that is uh, in the station of the metro by Ezra Pound, which is having three lines, five plus seven plus five, so total 17 syllables are there. So 38, the right option is C. I am solving uh, question uh, 38 of set D. This is the paper that I have received. And the set is D. Uh, moving on to question number 39. All of you can see the question. Uh, consider the chronological order of uh, the following. The publication of Lyrical Ballads was in 1798. And the reform bill, the first reform bill came in 1832. Restoration of Charles II, 1660. And French Revolution, 1789. So if we arrange these all in the chronological order, we find that C is the right option. Uh, question number 40, do as you will, but I'll be gone, who said this and to whom in the play for me. So this is a very famous comedy by Ben Johnson in which uh, it is Corvino who is telling this quotation to Moscow. So here C is the right option for this question. Question number 41, who said, uh, if Pope be not a poet, where is poetry to be fine? It is by uh, Dr. Johnson when he was writing Life of Most Eminent Poets. When he was writing the biography of Pope in his chapter Life of Pope, here he has to move this quotation. So Dr. Johnson is absolutely the right option. Question number 42, on seeing whom does Miranda claim Oh, Father, surely that is a spirit. Lord, how it looks about. So this is a quotation from uh, The Tempest by William Shakespeare. And uh, as you know that uh, Miranda has never seen any human being other than her father in her life. So when he's, uh, he first has uh, the glance of Ferdinand, then she exclaims this quotation. So Ferdinand is uh, the right option for this question about Ferdinand. Uh, question number 43, uh, in which of the following poem offer this phrase, the still sad music of humanity. So it's a very famous line from Tintin Abbey. So Tintin Abbey, D is the right option here. Question number 44, who called uh, Keats one of the inheritors of unfulfilled renown? So uh, if you talk about John Keats, uh, E.B. Shelley has written an elegy on John Keats that is Adonis. So uh, it is the right answer is B.B. Shelley. The next question, which of the following expression is by Tunisian? So the best lack all conviction uh, while the worst are full of passion and intensity. Uh, it's not by Tunisian, it's by William Butler Yeats. The right option here is B, and may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. This is a very famous line from Crossing the Bar by Alfred Tennyson. So 45, B is the right option. Moving on to question number 46. Okay, so again, I, uh, I, I can see uh, uh, none of you are responding. Okay, uh, what is the right option for question number 46? Right in the chat box. What is the question, uh, answer for question number 46? What is the subtitle of Tom Jones? Yes, The Foundling. Tom Jones, The Foundling, a very famous novel by Henry Fielding. Very right. About whom? Yeah, it is a foundling, uh, but uh, yeah, you can uh, claim for this. None of the above may be right because a foundling or the foundling, uh, there is a problem of particle. If you have marked T, then you may claim for that. But I'm very sure that uh, UPPCS will give C as the right option. option. Previously, also, uh, they have committed several such mistakes, small mistakes. But C here will be the right answer according to UPPSC, as per my knowledge. Uh, moving on to question number 47, about whom is the following statement made? 
He is a gentleman that is very singular in his behavior. When I was talking about uh, the essay of Steve, uh, there uh, I have discussed uh, very well about this statement in my class. So, uh, Sir Roger de Coverley. Yes, Roger de Coverley is the right answer to this question number 47. What is the right answer for question number 48? Rank scheme of la, my last duchess. It is obviously in rhyming couplet. It is in rhyming couplet. And uh, the meaning of one line is transferred to the another line. So enjambment is there. So B is the right option. Enjambment, rhyming couplets. So B is the right option for this question. Okay, question number 49. Who says the progress of an artist is a continual self-sacrifice, a continual extinction or extinction of personality? So if you talk about extinction of personality, it is from the second chapter of a traditional individual talent, that is a theory of a personality. So uh, yes, A is the right option here. B S period is the right option. Okay, so uh, Mrs. Scott gives the right answer to this question, question number 50. What is the right option? Answer to this question. Who is, the, who is the translator of the German national poet Goethe? Works into English. Goethe was a very famous uh, novelist and a playwright from Germany. And Thomas Carlyle is the right option. Yes, it is Thomas Carlyle. Okay, the next question, uh, which of the following is not true about the Spencerian stage? A uh, very easy question. If you talk about the level of this question paper, it is uh, easy to moderate. I do not say it is a tough one. Uh, apart from uh, five, six question, apart from being uh, a subject expert of English, I do find five, six questions are uh, really difficult. And that should be there. This is the pattern of every question paper. But uh, the level is obviously from easy to moderate. So, what's the right answer to this question number 51? Yes, first eight lines are in iambic pentameter and the last line is in iambic hexameter, which is also called as Alexandrine. So, C is the right option here. Yes, this is far is absolutely right. Question number 52, the liberty which poet take. The liberty. Liberty means uh, diverting from the root of rhythm or meter in poetry. So uh, that uh, term is called as, what's the right answer to this question? Poetic justice or poetic license or effective fallacy or rhyming scheme. What is the liberty which poet takes here? Yes, Dr. Ambrish is absolutely right. It is poetic license. Question number 53, Robert Browning's Rabbi Ben Ezra is a defense of whether it's a youth against a old age or full, uh, age against youth or various knowledge or knowledge against the world. What's the right answer to this question? Question number 53. It is uh, old age against youth. So it's a very famous by Robert Browning. Okay, so moving on to the next question, question number 54. Which of the novels given below does not fall under the category of Gothic novels? So, uh, what's the right answer to this question? Question number 54. Which of the novels given below does not fall under the category of Gothic novels? Uh, the Pickwick Papers by Charles Dickens is obviously a picaresque novel, not a Gothic novel. So, A is the right option here. Yes. Question number 55. Uh, you have to reply, all of you kindly reply your answer in the chat box, those who are present in the class. Who out of the following writers thought Tom Jones too vicious to be read by a woman? Who said this about Tom Jones? Uh, Tom Jones, that is repeating, that is too vicious to be read by a woman. So you have to tell me the right answer of question number 55. Okay, I think uh, we are unable to solve this question. The right answer to this question is uh, Dr. Samuel Johnson. Dr. Samuel Johnson uh, 
when he's talking about Henry Fielding, he said about uh, Tom Jones, that is to be used to preach Bible. Uh, uh, he said this uh, not in his uh, any of the work, rather when he was writing a letter to one of uh, his lady friend. There he has discussed about this talk. Uh, question number fifty-six: What is the name of the father of Estella in the novel *Great Expectations*? What is the name of the father of Estella? I'll tell you. Uh, the mother name was Molly, but the father name was yes, Magwitch. Yes, all of you are absolutely right. Magwitch was the father of Estella in *The Great Expectation* by Dickens. Question number fifty-seven: Who amongst the following writers does not belong to a group uh, known as University Wits? It's a very easy question. So it is Henry Madden, John Lee, Peel, Green, Nash, Thomas Lodge, Marto. These are the University Wits. So Henry Madden is not there in the University. Uh, question number fifty-eight: Okay, in scene one of Bernard Shaw's Saint John, Sir Robert de Baudicourt is blustering about the lack of what? So, uh, although there are two things, so he was worried about the hens were not laying the eggs and uh, the cows were not giving the milk. But it is the eggs which the sentence comes first. So the eggs should be the right answer. So all of you give the right answer. Eggs is the right answer. Number fifty-nine. Which of the following critics has initiated and emphasized the need of practical criticism, the fundamental requirement of a critic? Yes, starting from Clunchen. This is Carr. All of your right is I. A. Richard, who talks about practical criticism. Which of the following critics consider a poet as a man is speaking to man? This question also we discussed in the class when I was talking about the uh, radical Villard, that a man is speaking to man. So this is again William Wordsworth is the right answer to the question. Question number sixty-one. The typical imaginative poem is written in which verse? When it's a generic couplet, blank verse, three verse, or sonnet, give me the right answer to this question. Yes, typical images poem. Doctor Ramesh is absolutely right. It is three verse. Three verse is typical images poem is written in three verse. Next question that we discussed when I was discussing about uh, Homer Odyssey. In detail, we discussed about Trojan War in the class. All of you who have. Uh, Join my class. Must have uh, done this uh, answer correct. So Omar Odesi is the right answer to this question. The Lotus Eater is a very famous poem by Lord Tennyson. It's taken from uh, the very famous character of uh, Odesi, called Ulysses or Odysseus. Okay. So moving on to question number sixty-three. Identify Alice in the following sentence from Land's Three Children that called Bertram Park. So who is Alice here? Either Alice is in Wonderland, or Jasmine's sister, Jasmine's wife, or Jasmine's mother. So uh, yes, absolutely right. Question: The doctor of English, Charles Abella, from Ethan or Barry, is the right answer to this question. We're moving on to question number sixty-four. In the opening dialogue of the novel, a passage to India, who is the most open to the possibility of Indian English friendship. What's the right answer to this question? Most open to the possibility of Indian English friendship. Uh, according to me, it is Hamidullah. Hamidullah is the right answer according to me, but I can see all of you are writing A, but according to B, it is B. Sixty-four is B. Hamidullah is very open to the possibility of Indian English friendship. Yes, Shantanu Sreeja is giving the right answer. Amidullah is right. Question number sixty-five. Who said a poetry of revolt against moral ideas is a poetry of revolt against life? So this is one very famous famous quotation from the essay "Study on Poetry" by Matthew Arnold. So Arnold is the right answer here. Yes, B is the right answer. Yes, Rashmi Varma is the right answer to this question. Okay. Uh, question number sixty-six. Prayer for my daughters. William Butterworth, Sonnet on Sonnet, Shakespeare, the canonization as the portrait in Indian summer's jacket. So find the right combination. So here, uh, uh, I don't find any right combination. All the combinations are wrong here. So this question must be cancelled, according to me. 
because uh, prayer for my daughters, there is no such uh, work. W. B. H. has written a prayer for my daughter. A prayer for my daughter. So, uh, according to U. P. P. S. C., this should be the right answer because they often uh, make a lot of such mistakes uh, in articles, prepositions, etc. So, according to U. P. P. S. C., A should be the right answer. A prayer for my daughter. But here, it is prayer for my daughters. Quite confusing. So, let us on it by uh, William Wordsworth, canonization by Jordan. Indian must buy J and the Mahabharata. So uh, A should be the right answer, but according to me, this question should be the answer. Uh, question number 67. The following famous quote phrases the style of an important essay. So fill in the blank with the appropriate name. So uh, when I was talking about own style in my class, when I was revising the class uh, of prose, I have discussed uh, this quotation here. So uh, here, uh, this uh, on style is written by Joseph Edition, and this is said by uh, Dr. Johnson about Joseph Edition. So Joseph Edition is the right answer here. C is absolutely right. Question number 68, Imagism uh, evolved under the influence of poetic theory of, uh, whether it's Richards, Lewis, Ransom, or E. So, so all of you uh, are very aware that uh, Imagism is a literary movement that evolved in the USA and uh, Hilda Doolittle was one of the prominent members along with T.E.U. So if you are absolutely right, it is T.E.U. Question number 69, where was Lamb as is published as a serially? So this question was again discussed by me in the class when I was talking about uh, poor relation by Charles Lamb as well as great children's the right. So there we discussed that it was published in the London Magazine from 1820 to 1825. So C is the right answer here. So many questions have been asked from my class that we have discussed previously in the last two weeks. Uh, question number 70. Who among the following critics considered criticism to be dissemination of ideas and unprejudiced and impartial approach to study and spread the best that is known and thought in the world? So, uh, what's the right answer to this question? It's Arnold, Richard, Jafalibis, or T.S. Eliot. Uh, yes, all of you are absolutely right. It is Matthew Arnold. Function of Criticism by Matthew Arnold. Question number 71. In uh, Harold Painter's The Birthday Party, where does Pete meet Goldberg and Macken? So, Goldberg and Macken are the guest who meet with P.T., it is the husband of Mac, uh, and they meet on the beach. So uh, that is the right option here. The beach is the right option. Okay, so moving on to the next question, question number 72. Detective fiction was written by, who wrote the detective fictions in English? So uh, it is Wilkie Collins, is absolutely right. Wilkie Collins wrote detective fictions in English. Okay, question number 73. The Tarjarima is a stage of four lines. No, it is of three lines. Tarjarima is a stage of three lines, that is, not correct here, so this should be the right answer. So, say in stage of rhyme royal seven lines, still say in stage of nine and Ottawa rhyme eight lines. That is right. Um, question number 74. What's the right answer to question number 74? Who of the following was the daughter of Sir Leslie Stephen? Leslie Stephen was uh, having two daughters, one was Virginia Wolf and the other was Vanessa Bell. So, Virginia Woolf is the right answer to this question. Uh, in question number 75 in the Tempest, who are Miranda and Ferdinand doing? What are they doing in the final scene of the play? So, they are playing chess. So, C is the right option here, playing chess. Question number 76. Uh, which of the following is not correctly matched? Francis Bacon. Is called the father of English essayist. Yes, he is father of English essayist. But if we talk about the father of essayist, it is on time. 
But here, Francis Bacon, father of English essays, right? Charles Lamb, prince of English essays, is right? Bertrand Russell got Nobel Prize in Literature, is right? Walter Pater has not written poor relations, but Charles Lamb. So D should be the right option. Yes, Tanchin is a scholar, so we can have. Number 77. The Stratarian poetics is the poetics of the drama and especially of tragedy. Who commented this? Whether it's Dr. Johnson, A.C. Bradley, Arthur Fry, or Wimson and Rose. So you have to give me the right answer to this question. What is the right answer here? Whether it's Dr. Johnson, A.C. Bradley, Arthur Fry, or Wimson and Brooks. Question number 77. Uh, uh, even I am confused about the answer to this question. Uh, I did not find uh, the right answer to this question. Uh, but according to me, Dr. Johnson should be the right, but I am not very sure. According to me, Dr. Johnson should be the right option, but I'm uh, not very sure to this question. So uh, this, uh, this question will remain doubtful for me. I'm not giving the right answer to this question. Number 78, who in Richard II kills Richard when he hears of Henry's coronation? Who kills Richard II? So this is a question from Richard II by William Shakespeare. And it is Paris Exton. Paris Exton is the right of here. Moving on to question number 79. The lives of saints were depicted in. So uh, in the old English literature, you'll find Morality plays, mystery plays, and miracle plays. So, miracle plays uh, were uh, discussed about the life of saints. Bible was discussing about the uh, mystery plays. So, miracle plays is the right option here. Yes, all of you are absolutely right. Question number 80. What is a foot? Many times, uh, those who are doing interview session with me, many times I've asked this question to them. What is foot in prosody? It's a basic unit. So it is rhythmic measurement in the poetry. Mrs. Scott is absolutely right. Question number 81 in John Osborne, Look Back in Anger, which was published in 1956. Uh, England is depicted as whether a provision nation or prosperous nation or a escalated nation or affluent nation. So I'm looking for the right answer by all of you. Whether it's flourishing, prosperous, emasculated, or affluent nation. Yes, but we are uh, absolutely right. It is an emasculated nation. C is the right option here. Question number 82 Disappointment in Love by Richard Steele. It's a very famous essay that I've discussed in my class. It deals with the love affair, failed love affair of Sir Roger. So, this, all of you must have given the right answer to the question. Question number 83. Who says in the Duchess of Malfi that diamonds are of most value? They say they have passed through most dwellers. And this is a very famous quotation uh, from John Lamb's first Duchess of Malfi, to which uh, Ferdinand replies that if this is right, then uh, you are a whore. So this is obviously the uh, quotation given by the Duchess when she is caught having an affair uh, with. Uh, her cardinal, so that time she gives this quotation. So the Duchess is the right option here. Uh, next uh, question again from Sir Roger. So uh, here, Sir Roger Valbert D. Chamber is like his brother, and Sir Roger's coachman is looks like Frederick Consider. So A and D are not correctly matched. A and D are not correctly matched. So A should be the right answer. Okay, uh, now I'm looking for the very easy question, the answer of this question. The best lack all conviction while the worst are full of passionate intensity. What is the right answer to this question? The most easiest question in this paper. I'm not getting any answer by you. Uh, the Second Coming by William Butler, yes, yes. Ms. Santa Sreja gives the right answer here. Question number 86. 
which are the following novels was originally a youthful work entitled first impressions again a very easy question is pride and prejudice by jane austen yes this is for is absolutely right which of the following poem includes a choric song there is a choric song in between the poem whether it's in memoriam mariana locks the hall or the lotus eaters so it's a very easy question it's the lotus eaters by lord edish question number 88 for which character in williams calling lord of the flies maintains that life is scientific again very easy question from lord of the flies and i hope all of you must have given the right answer piggy is the right answer here let nature be your teacher offers in which of the following poems let nature be your teacher what should be the right answer to this question give the answer the chat box whether it's tainton abbey or excursion or solitary reaper or the prelude so here the right answer is table turn table turn which is not there in any of the option so this question must be cancelled uh, there is no option related to this okay. uh, next question a uh, question number 90 sejanus is fall and catalin tragedy this is a two post shakespearean tragedy very famous tragedies by ben johnson other he was a comedian but he wrote two tragedies and this are the two tragedies ben johnson is the right option Question number ninety-one in Painter's The Birthday Party. What does Meg serve in breakfast in Act One? So you might have gone through the story before the reading the exam. So what is the right answer here? What Meg is preparing in the breakfast? Whether well, toast and jam, eggs and bacon, pancakes and waffles, and hot cakes and fried bread. Yes, Doctor Ambrish and Rashmi, absolutely right. It's corn flakes and fried bread. Okay, moving on to question number ninety-two. The mind of the poet is the strait of platinum, where he uh, and there are two uh, uh, individual talent, tradition and individual talent. When the GST is is example of platinum, that poet mind is like platinum. So the uh, T.S. Eliot is absolutely right here. All of you are giving the right answer. Okay. Uh, Question number ninety-three. Uh, Mexico, the setting of the novel *Par of the Glory*, set in Mexico, passes through India, set in Chandrapur. Lord of the Flies, set in Coral Island, then uh, *Hard Times*, setting is in. What is the setting? You have to write. Uh, the answer is absolutely D. But what is the setting of *Hard Times*? If anyone of you know, when they write the answer in the chat box. What is the setting of *Hard Times*? Which one of the local? Of uh, England, maybe. This is set in England. Uh, question number ninety-four. Which of the following writers remarked about reading *The Rape of the Lock* that he did not know whether to laugh or to read? So it is by romantic uh, essayist William Hazlitt. So Hazlitt is the right option here. Question number ninety-four. William Hazlitt has uh, said about uh, Alexander Pope the writer. Okay, moving on to question number ninety-five. What is the full name of Darcy in the novel *Pride and Prejudice*? So, again, very easy question. So, I hope it is T. Fitz William Darcy was in love with Elizabeth. Fitz. Yes, D is the right option here. Which of the following poem is written in *Tulsar Rama*? So again, a well-known poem by Poshi B. Sisseli, "Ode to the West Wind," is written in Tarjarama. It's very easy question. Question number ninety-seven. Tom Jones just consists of so Tom Jones, you know, is a very big novel by Henry Fielding, consists of four volumes, and those four volumes are divided further into eighteen books. Yes, uh, Shanta is absolutely right. It is C. Eighteen books are here in Tom Jones. Another right is the Tom Jones by Aristotle Four. So when I was, uh, I was talking about uh, Aristotle and Plato in my class, there also I have discussed about all the terms. So an agnosis is uh, the recognition by the protagonist 
the reversal of fortune, there is another term called peripatia. But uh, here it's anognorisis means the moment of recognition by the protagonist. So Rashmi Nishanta is absolutely right. Question number 99, who says that God will come and will be saved. We will be saved. If we drop him, he will punish us. So this is one of the operation appears in Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett. And uh, this statement is given by, but it's Estrogen, Vladimir, Bozo, Allah. So I'm looking for the right answer to this question. Like the right answer to this question. Yes, it is by Astrigan. Yes, Shanda gives the right answer. Uh, it's said by Astrigan in Waiting for Godo. Uh, next question uh, Which of the following movements in literature and arts has its origin in France? The Dinosaurism was uh, started by Andrew Bratton in France, Literature of the Absurd by Martin Asselin. Imagism by Israel found in USA. So here, uh, surrealism and uh, literature of the absurd is absolutely right. Both are having the origin in France. So one and two is the right option here. Question number 101. In 1698, who attacked restoration drama in a pamphlet entitled The Sort View of Immortality and Profoundness of the English State? So as you know that re-expression comedies were uh, called as comedy of manners and also called as anti-sentimental comedies. So the sentiments were missing and that's why they were attacked by Jeremy Coulier in his very famous calculated short view of immortality and profoundness of the stage in year 1698. So Jeremy Coulier is the right option here. V is the right option. Yes, absolutely right. All of you are right. Uh, question number 102, the emotion of art is impersonal, impersonal poetry, theory of impersonality uh, from the first line itself, the answer is very clear that it has been taken from tradition and individual talent, the second chapter by T.S. Kiriel. Yes, absolutely right. Uh, the next question, uh, question number 103, how many suits are there in the spectator? When I was talking about the spectator there also, I discussed in my class about this answer, there are 555 essays appears in the spectator. Question number 104. Yeah, this is the question which I also did not know before seeing the question. This question is really new for me. So I do find five, six questions which are not known to me. So that's why I always say that uh, this question is easy to moderate. So uh, his less is uh, the special environment of his characters whose development could not be understood without reference to it. Who makes this comment about Thomas Hardy? What's the right answer here? Okay. Scott says it's, it is he. It is David Cecil. Uh, David Cecil is absolutely the right answer. David Cecil has given this quotation about Thomas Hardy. Okay, moving on to the next question, question 105. Uh, which of the following writers is not an Irish? So Samuel Beckett is Irish, James Joyce is Irish, William Butter Reeves is Irish, yes, T.S. Eliot, uh, uh, partially British, partially American. So uh, T.S. Eliot is absolutely right. Okay, question number 106. Uh, which of the following is not correctly matched? So First quotation, then I felt like some watcher of the skies. So, this is not from Tennyson, it is by John Keats uh, on first looking uh, at Chapman's Homer. This is the quotation from John Keats. So, this is not correctly matched. Water, water everywhere, very famous from Rhyme of Dance and Mariner by S.D. Aldridge. Uh, oh, lift me as a wave, a leaf, a cloud from the way to the to the west wind. So all these are absolutely matched. So A is the right option. Yes, crunch and watch way and this is what gives the right answer here. Question number 107. So again, a very easy question. What's the name of this Havishan's manner in the great expectation? Uh, yes, uh, it's Satis House. Moving on to the next question. Question number 108, which is the following is a kind of truth that Francis Bacon does not talk in his essay of truth. 
So uh, I do have talked about uh, this essay very uh, in very detail, and here also I have discussed that he talks about theological truth, uh, he talks about uh, philosophical truth, truth of civil business, but he does not talk about truth of the spiritual business. So uh, D is obviously the right answer to this question. D is right. Yes, Doctor Rajesh is right. Question number one zero nine. Wordsworth ode on intimations of immortality. What's the view that? So what's the view of code on immortality by William Wordsworth? What's the right answer given by you uh, in your exam? You write your right answer. Soul is non-existent. Or child is mortal. Soul lives in heaven before coming into the world. Or is it when we grow older, we do not forget our experience of heaven? So all of you are giving the different different answer. So the right answer to this question is uh, given by Mr. Scott and Kanchan. So C is the right option here. Soul lives in other world, not in heaven. When he gives the statement, he writes here, soul lives in other world. So obviously it represents heaven before coming into the world. So uh, obviously C is the right answer here. Question number one one zero. Whose speech is this? Present fears less than horrible imagining. So it's one of the famous quotation from Macbeth. Uh, you have given the right answer to this question. Shanta is right. Macbeth has said this quotation. Question number triple one. It's shock in Alexander Pope's The Rape of the Law. Shock is the name of a dog, lap dog, by the protagonist of the poem Belinda. Uh, in which chapter of the poetics Aristotle compares tragedy with epic? And so it's Shukriya. This question again I discussed in my class was talking about Aristotle's poetics. So what is the right answer here? Whether it's uh, 27, there, is, there are only 26 chapters. So 27 uh, is obviously wrong. There are only 26 chapters. So whether it's 24, 25 or 26. So here he gives uh, the comparison of epic and uh, poetry and tragedy in his concluding chapter, the last chapter, chapter number 26. Yes, Nishant is absolutely right. What is the soul of tragedy according to Aristotle? A easy question, it's plot, which Aristotle called as mythos. So it's the soul of the tragedy. Question number one and 14, the line, and the dead tree gives no shelter, the cricket no relief. Yes, which are following points. So, cricket is the name of an insect which uh, uh, gives a very uh, terrible sound in the night time. So, that's a line from the Westland. Yes, it's from the Westland by TSCB. Moving on to the next question, question number 115. Carolyn Age is concerned with the reign of. So, after the Jacobian Age, Carolyn Age comes from 1625 to 1649. That is the, uh, the reign of Charles I, after the Charles I was beheaded by Oliver Cromwell, it became the Puritan interinum. Uh, the next question, question number 116, in which language did Samuel Beckett first write most of his novels before he rendered them in English? So as you know that uh, his very famous uh, uh, play, I think for Godot, was written in uh, French too. Uh, first it was written by, in French. The title was uh, An Attendant Godot, so that was written in French, so he was writing in French first. So B is that, uh, obviously the right answer. Uh, uh, there is another very easy question, question number 117, An Apology for Poetry is a work of literary criticism by Philip Sidney and he belongs to, he belongs to Elizabethan age, so he is an Elizabethan poet. Okay. The next question, uh, the still sad music of humanity, whether it's from Wordsworth. Chance to strike the sight, but pay to waste the soul. All rich, our two souls, therefore, which are one. Yes, one, one, eight. The right answer is B, chance to strike the sight, but may to waste the soul. So B is the right answer, which is not correct, not correctly matched, yes. And uh, question number 119, some uh, uh, mistakes are there. Preface to the lyrical ballads 
was not there in 1798. Uh, you can say it is in 1800 or 1801, maybe right, but uh, uh, you know, UPPSC also makes a lot of mistakes. So this question, according to me, should be cancelled uh, because uh, it is not matched with any of the options. Uh, however, uh, if we go with uh, 1798 and we cut PKs, we can go with lyrical ballads. So P is the right option here. So uh, previous to lyrical ballads were in 1798 or you can say 1800 and uh, uh, function of criticism at present time by Matthew Arnold in 1865 and uh, the principle of literary criticism uh, in 1924. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, the great tradition by right, Shiva Levis in 1940. So, this is the right option. And the last question the stream of consciousness method is not used to buy. So, you find some important writers here Nath Nash, Conrad Aiken, Virginia Woolf, or Rebecca West. So, what is the right answer to this question? Whether it's Nathan Ash, Conrad Icon, Virginia Woolf, or Rebecca West. Okay, so here, uh, according to me, all the novels uh, appear here uses a stream of consciousness technique. And this question should be cancelled. Nathan Ash also uses a stream of consciousness, Conrad Icon 2, Virginia Woolf 2. Rebecca West has also rated this stream of processes for that is very true. So according to me, this question should be cancelled. So these are the uh, all questions that have appeared in the English part. And now according to this, uh, I have only one question that I'm not very sure of that I've already said you. Uh, uh, once I get to know the correct answer to the question, I'll let you know. But uh, altogether, it was a very good paper. And uh, according to the standard, uh, out of the 90 questions, I expect anyone who is preparing for this exam must have corrected uh, above 60. Out of 90, all of you must have corrected above 60 because the sy uh, syllabus was very limited. Very limited authors were given. If you compare such syllabus with net, it is only 5%, not even 5%. And you've got a lot of time, two years. The vacancy came in 2020 and this exam in 2022. So, a lot of uh, time that you've got. So, uh, I'm expecting a very, a very high cutoff for this because there are only 10 seats and uh, the cutoff, according to me, uh, should be uh, above 75. Those who are securing more than 75 questions after deducting negative marking. Out of 120, if you deduct your marks, and your stunts above 75, then only you can expect for uh, your interview. Okay, so uh, I'll be uh, sharing this video on the YouTube also. You can, if you have missed any part of this class, you will be getting uh, the same video on the YouTube. Uh, now I'll discuss a few of the questions of uh, middle studies part. I'm not very really sure of some of the questions, but whatever the question I know, I'll uh, discuss it here. So the first question, which of the following statements correctly explain the meaning of deflation? Uh, so here the right answer is the value of money is rising. So A is the right option here. Yes, is right. Uh, question number two, uh, the average age of 50 students is uh, so one of the mathematics question. And the right option is 70. Okay, uh, question number three, not aware of uh, this answer of question number three. Question number four, uh, Swaraj party was uh, formed by Chitranjan Das and Motilal Nehru. That is right. So two and four is the right option here, two and four. Yes. And uh, I'll move on to the next question number five. River Narmada makes delta at its mouth. No, the delta does not make any delta in an out because it goes across the west. It flows uh, to a rift valley. That is right. Reason R is right. A is false. R is true. So if any one of you have made this option is correct. Number six. Again, a very easy question from mathematics. Uh, 
question with the ratio. So what's the right answer given by you? The right answer is to what? Number seven, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles produce which of the following ammonia, methane, water, hydrogen peroxide? What is the right answer here? If anyone can give the right answer to this question. Uh, which of the following institutes has opened new drone research center recently? It is IIT Rurki, which has opened a new research center. The two questions from Constitution, right? To equality, I'm not aware about this Constitution, so I'll just discuss. Question number 11. No, again, I'm not aware. Question number 12. Uh, the ancient monuments reservation act was passed during the period of which Governor General? It was passed in the 1904, it was the time of the uh, division of Bengal, and Lord Kurjit was the Governor General of India at that time. Number 13, acid present in the gas uses uh, its retrochloric acid. And the compound present in the bones is gas phosphate. And acid present in the vinegar is acetic acid. And soaring of milk is by lactic acid. So C is the right option. Number 14, uh, freeze vintage root and a smoke is related to fire. It's an easy question. Most of the desert plants bloom during the night time because uh, in the night time the insects are active during night. So D is the right option here. Question fifteen is D. The Zulu tribes are found in which of the following countries? Uh, it's a very famous tribe in South Africa. Uh, here, aquaculture, floriculture, sericulture, and viticulture. So uh, here you may find some confusion that if you uh, read the same in Hindi, uh, you can very well, uh, let's say, pollen, machri, and uh, flowers, resum, and uh, angur. So very easy question. So obviously, D is uh, the right option here. Question number 18, uh, with reference to Aero India 2021. So if you are uh, reading the current affairs, this recently came uh, during uh, March 2021, it was organized in uh, Yalahanka, Air Force Station Yalahanka, Bangalore. Uh, that is absolutely right. And there were 14 countries who had participated in this. So only one is right here. Okay, question number 19. Entropy. Entropy, uh, if energy increases, then uh, there is no increase in the entropy. It never increases. Rather, it may remain same or it may decrease. It uh, decreases cost. So only two options is right. Question number 20. Very easy uh, reasoning question. Uh, just to data, get 46 minus 24. Just deduct these two numbers. 69 minus 27, 79 minus 41. So 41 is the right answer. Question number 21. Uh, which of the following pairs is not correctly matched? Interia is the name of the palace in which Mukesh Amani lists. Sanjana Ganesh is the wife of Jaspreet Prom of Burmara. Novavax is the vaccine that is created by USA recently of COVID-19. Hindu Malhotra is the former uh, High Court judge. So this is not a women's cricket. Uh, so he is the right option here. Question number 22. Uh, which of the following countries uh, is not a part of Quad Group? Recently, Quad Group was very popular in the Dutch. So, you know that India, USA, Australia, and Japan. So, these are the four countries of the Quad Group. So, Qatar is the right answer. Number 23. Um, so, mines and the states you have to match. Paladilla was there in Madhya Pradesh uh, before division, but presently it is in Chhattisgarh. So, according to that, this should be the right answer. Chik Magala is Karnataka, Mayur Panjin Odisha, and Sri Gomes Chakra. The next question about Rig Veda, there are 1028 verses in Rig Veda. That is absolutely right. Rig Veda is also known as Ashtak. Uh, no, uh, Ashtak was written by uh, Shankaracharya, not, uh, it's not a part of Rig Veda or not known as Rig Veda. So this is absolutely wrong. Sinaman. So only one is correct. Uh, question number 25 again from constitution. I'm not aware about this question. 
Uh, question number 26, uh, who among the following has been appointed as new Director General of Military Operations is P.S. Raju, has recently been appointed as the Director General of Military. Uh, which one of the following rivers originate from Multai, sacred tank of Multai, it is Tapri. Uh, question number 28, very easy reasoning. So, Scott and uh, so, so, uh, C is the right option here. If uh, any one of you want to learn, you can ask me. I'll explain how to find the right all, uh, answer to this question. Otherwise, the right answer is C here, 6. 6 is the right answer, the set code of C. Question number 29. Uh, freon gas is used as a represent in the refrigerators. Uh, water gas is used to uh, hydrogen and carbon monoxide. Rockel fuel uses liquid hydrogen and the solder is uh, used in uh, lead tin and lead is used as a solder for soldering. So A is the right option here. The last question, question number 30. Maradas collected revenue as Chot and Sardes uh, That is absolutely right. Maradas participated in the second battle of Panipat in 1761. Yeah, Maratha participated. That's true, but it was not the second battle, it was the third battle. So second one is wrong, only one is the right option. So I have tried to give some answer to the question of GS because I'm not an expert of general studies, but whatever the answer I know, I have communicated to you and uh, this all from my side. I have also given the uh, expected cutoff of this. So now it's over from my side.